In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can embed images into a new quiz within your Canvas course. So I am in my quiz engine and I am in the new quiz engine. And so you can see that I have titled my quiz beginning sounds and I have started question number one, which is a multiple choice question. And I have started off that question stem by saying which picture has the same beginning sound as and I would like to put an image of a bat right there after the word as. So I'm going to show you something that works a little bit differently with new quizzes. So if I go to this upload media option, you'll see that for an image, it is asking you to drag and drop an image or to browse. So that browse option opens up your file explorer on your computer. So you would need to have a file saved to your computer. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go show you how to save an image file from Google Drawings to your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Google Drive, which I've opened up in a separate tab. And once you're in your Google Drive, you would click on new. More and then look for Google Drawings in that area. So I'm going to open up Google Drawings. And then from here, I can go to insert an image and you have lots of great options here, but for the purposes of inserting an image in this quiz in this video, I am going to go ahead and search the web. And so that brings up a Google image search right here. And so I'm going to type in the word that, um, but just a little trick there. If you type that clip art, then those more uh, cutesier pictures of bats come up. Otherwise, you're going to get real images of bats. And so I'm just going to click on this first one. I think that's a great image for my quiz. And I'm going to click insert. So if you want, you can resize that right here within Google Drawings. And um, I'm just going to wait until I get to my quiz to resize it. But I am going to go ahead and give this image a name. So I am going to call this my bat image. And the great thing about Google Drawings is this is now automatically saved to my Google Drive. And um, so I can get to it easily. I can access it easily. Um, but remember that in that new quiz engine, I do need to download this image to my computer. So I'm going to go to File, Download as a PNG. And so you can see that that um, is processing there on my computer. So I'm going to go back over to my Canvas course. I'm going to go ahead and click where I want that image to go. And then I'm going to click the Upload Media button. And I am going to browse my computer for that image of the bat, which has come up right here in my download section. So I'm going to click on my image and click Open. That bat image is ready, so I'm going to go ahead and import that image. Okay, so you might notice that it's kind of hard to see the bat. The bat's a little bit big. I can't see my question anymore. So I'm going to show you some tricks on that. So I'm going to go ahead and click back in that question editor. And then if you'll look in the bottom right hand corner, there is that drop down right triangle where I can click and drag to make it a little bit bigger just so that it's easier to work with and easier to see what you're doing. So now I can see where my question is and how much bigger that image is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my bat image and I'm going to drag that down and just make it a little bit smaller. And if you don't like how that formatted there, then you might consider doing a space. And then you can get your cursor there in between your last word and your picture, and then you can hit the enter button. Okay. And so that's how you can insert an image into a question. Let me show you how you can insert an image into your answer choices. That's going to work the same way. So you can see I have four answer choices right here. As soon as you click on that type an answer box, then you do get that same editor as we saw just a moment ago. So I do need to go save an image. 
So if I want to put an image of a, let's say this time I'll do a book. So I'm going to go back to my Google Drawings and do File, New, Drawing. And I'm going to grab my image by going to Insert Image by searching the web. So I'm going to do Book Clip Art. If you click on that image, it does bring up a bigger view. You can click insert there at the top. Okay, I'm going to rename that. File, download as a PNG so that I can grab that file and put it into my quiz. I'm going to go back to my Canvas quiz. I'm still in that first answer choice. I'm going to go to upload media. I'm going to click browse and then I have my books image. I'm going to click open. Um, you do, if you have students that are going to be using screen readers or even parents that use screen readers, then that alt text is going to be super helpful. And so just like we did on the question, if you need to make that a little bit bigger so you can see better, then you can click and drag down that bottom right hand corner. If you need to resize your image, you can click your image and drag a corner diagonal. And then you're in good shape. You have your image inserted into your question and into an answer choice. Additional answer choices would be completed the same way.